A community is remembering those killed in the devastating Windsor Hills crash. Tonight, we're hearing from a family member of one of the victims who died. NBC4's Hetty Chang has more for us from the scene of the crash. The memorial here on the corner of La Brea and Slauson continues to grow, and with each visitor, we're learning more about all of the victims killed here. Among them, two best friends just going for a shopping trip. The days have gone by, but the pain has not. That from the broken hearts of the families of the six lives lost here. Right now, I'm lost for words. Patricia Allen says her niece is one of the women killed in last week's fiery crash, yet to be identified by the L.A. County coroner. She says the 42-year-old was a loving mom who was headed to the mall with her best friend, who Allen says was also killed. Personally, I'm out here because I do want to represent my niece. She was a giving person, um, always laughing, always smiling. Tonight, Allen is comforted by strangers, those who live near La Brea and Slauson and have been back to the memorial site every day since the crash. I feel just so much compassion for the families. You know, I, I really feel for the victims. You know, they lost their lives. They were all young. You know, they just... Uh, it was just a, a, a tragedy. And those who survived the crash must relive the sheer terror of it all. Grace Ortiz was in this silver SUV with her niece and her five children, including her one-year-old son, when the speeding Mercedes barreled through the intersection. I feel so bad for the people that passed away, the two babies. They didn't deserve that for somebody so irresponsible. The driver, Nicole Linton, a 37-year-old traveling nurse, appeared in court in a wheelchair for the first time today. She appeared emotional. Her attorneys placing the blame on what they characterize as Linton's mental health issues. This is uh, an incident, an episode that was caused in large part by documented uh, <coughs> profound mental health issues. Linton now faces six counts of murder and five counts of vehicular manslaughter. Six people were killed, including a pregnant woman and her unborn child, an 11 month old baby, and the woman's fiance. In Windsor Hills, Hetty Chang, NBC4 News. And we are, of course, staying on top of this story for you right now on our NBCLA app and at NBCLA.com. You can see how people are paying their respects.